Yeah, good morning. So uh, this uh, the, uh, today there's a uh, classic car show here in Iwakuni. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, drive there and uh, find a spot to park, hopefully, and walk around, check out the cars. It's kind of unique for Japan. Well, not very unique, but not as common as it is in the States. And then I'm going to drive on base and uh, top off the truck and uh, give the car to my uh, truck to this gentleman to do my JCI inspection and walk back home. All of these motorcyclists are heading to the car show and I am still maybe a mile from the location because uh, the parking is very limited so I have to walk there. I uh, parked at the military installation and uh, now I'm walking there. Yeah, so as, as I walk there, I'm going to go ahead and take advantage to take some pictures and video of these older houses. So here's an older Japanese house, traditional house, along the side of the road. And, well, it looks like walking, I caught up with the group. All these uh, really cool Harleys, Kawasaki's. Yeah, Japanese, they like their Harleys as well. Yeah, there's really cool older motorcycles, new motorcycles. And like I said, there's the Lotus Field right here, tractor right next to it. And then check out the older Japanese house right smack in the middle of all the fields over there. And all this right here is beautiful farmland. Right now, obviously, it's nice and dry, but uh, when the lotus starts growing, it's really beautiful here in Iwakuni. Iwakuni is famous for lotus. Walking by a couple more uh, older, older Japanese houses here, surrounded by the lotus fields. And that's a nice, cool house right there. See over there at a distance, there's another side road by the field so those are the smart ones they kind of know this area and they are driving a shortcut through there I don't blame them because look at that line still even having a Humvee <laughs> yeah not the most practical vehicles here in Japan for sure but hey they look cool right personally I'm not impressed with Humvees 22 years in the army uh, kind of took all that fun out of driving the Humvee. Yeah, so still have all the way over there to make it. And I think some of the smarter guys here are realizing that if you turn left, you can bypass that the line of cars here. See, that's what these guys are doing. They're getting ready to go down this road right here and turn around. Hey, well, since I'm walking, I'm going to go ahead and keep on walking straight across. <laughs> Look at this guy right here. <laughs> uh, yeah. All the cool uh, machinery that you see along the road. This is the type of stuff that you just don't notice as you're driving. All the Lotus, uh, that, uh, Lotus there. Some cool little machines. That's something you don't see very often in Japan. It was a Dodge Charger and then a Mustang right there. Good old American muscle car. Let's see if I get a thumbs up. Huh? Hey! <laughs> so back in the in the states, I used to have a Datsun 260Z that I re renovated, and I used to get thumbs up all the time. I really appreciated it. Yeah, another farmhouse here. Yeah, this is, uh, I mean, for Japanese standards, Iwakuni is Inaka, uh, countryside in Japan. But for me, not so much. <laughs> Actually, Miwa, the house renovation that we're doing is up in those mountains, past that way about hmm, 40 minutes from here. That is more of a Inaka or rural living in Japan for me. To me, this is a city. I grew up in the countryside of Mexico, so <laughs> dirt roads, cobblestones. This is this is city for me, for sure. 
you know, I keep getting distracted by all these by all this farm equipment <laughs> but I think it's really cool you know the contrast of uh, farm equipment and then these soon to see classic cars and motorcycles and old Japanese houses and some newer Japanese houses uh, I guess that's just the beauty of uh, living in Japan I have no idea where to begin but let's start this way Land cruisers are becoming quite popular among Americans here on base as well. So I think they can start exporting them to the States. Of all the fancy chrome and everything that I've seen, this is what caught my attention the most. <laughs> I guess I'm not the only one attracted to this one right here because a bunch of people are taking pictures of it. <laughs> That's a cool little car. You don't see these very often. Oh, nicely renovated too. Nice dark green color. Wow. <laughs> I just noticed all these guys coming in. Oh my god, so it looks like they're the uh, Pangus Yamaguchi. That's a motorcycle club if you wanna. Holy crap, look at that. Wow. Wow. Oh my god. Black, gold, very basic color. New Harleys, older Harleys. Nothing but Harleys. Even a 
try. It's not going to go over. <laughs> That was pretty cool. Yeah, so they actually have a couple uh, Datsun uh, Fairlady Zs, I guess I should say. And see, I used to have a 1976 260Z back in the States, which I sold before we moved here. And I used to have a 240Z and a 280Z as well. So I'm a fan of these cars. Oh, hey Trey. And I actually had another one. Well, actually my daughter had one like this white one right here. And then I ended up getting it from her. Uh, yeah, but she had a really nice, actually the same same style, it was a 1988 T-top. We'll remove the T-top and go out there driving and we drove to Washington DC together too, it was pretty cool.
looking for the little monkey motorcycles, the little mini mini motorcycles. <laughs> there you go. I've been looking all day for one of these. <laughs> That's pretty cool. The little uh, Honda monkeys. If I was smaller, I'd probably get one. That big helmet. <laughs> that, that helmet does not look proportional with the motorcycle yet. Yeah, totally different from uh, that wild uh, car show, huh? Now all, of, now all of a sudden you got all these fields and everything. I should look back here. <laughs> these are your old stomping grounds, huh? I just like all these uh, the tractors and everything. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. I need one of those. Oh yeah. 